you guys miss anything about men? Oh shit! Oh god, I need to get my. All right, can we be completely throat. honest? Wait, let's let y'all. Can we be completely from. honest? Wait, I won't. I'll wait. Are yes. you sure you're ready for this? Oh, what's up? Hey. Look who we are! It's Saturday. Hey. Wow. What's up? Okay, okay, okay. So this is a new crib. New crib. Who it is? Oh. Oh. Like we was going to the little apartment. And it was a little ass apartment. <laughs> I'm not talking about a Okay, okay. Here we go. We gotta appreciate all the details. Coming up the stairs and skateboard. Damn! Welcome to the crib. Yo, Sayo, what's up, man? How you doing, yeah. man? I miss you, bro. Okay. okay. She's always to y'all. Right? Little little oh. oh. so, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Okay, we live it. Yes. We live it. All right. We need a full tour. First of all, get into the basket. Okay. Oh. Let's see what you wear. I'm not working with nothing. I'm not working with nothing. We all sit down. Wait. Oh, oh damn. Wait, give me the ball. Neither of us are working with nothing. Baby, give me, give me the ball. Go give me, pass me up. All right, come on. Let's see what you work on. Come on. Hey. All right, air ball. This is our studio. Ooh. Our personal home life. We also have a studio because I'm here. Yeah. the vibe. Biggie Corner over here, Digital Sia is all about Biggie. Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Can't you see? Okay, the studio's a vibe. Always. I know I can't read. Last time I tried to read that, what happened? But y'all can read it for yourself. Brooklyn, it's the Brooklyn, Brooklyn way. way. We got a full bathroom in here. Full we bathroom? Wow. Ooh, okay, okay. Get into the, our toys. Yes. Get into the toys. Yes, the mushroom. I see the mushroom from Mario. I'm familiar Toad. with my boy, yep. Toad. Dang, you already know what's going on, the minions. Let's get a SpongeBob, Tasmanian Devil, Bugs Bunny, you know. Yes, baby, but that's not have a light in yet. Well, y'all need to hurry up, because where are we going to sleep at? Yeah, this is for y'all. Yeah. This is another one. Wait a minute, another bathroom, okay. Another full bathroom. Full bathroom. Oh, we in there like swimwear. Okay, okay. Big bathroom. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey. Hey, cutie. Hi. You coming? You coming with us or you you, you staying? Sheesh. Ooh. It's so fun. Hey, okay. If you feeling spicy, that's yes, your girl. You feel what happened? Dang. Kick off your shoes Look. and relax Look. your feet. Yeah. Party right down in the SJP. <laughs> Another bathroom? Damn. Another one. Okay. Like DJ Khaled. Another one. Sheesh. Yes. Okay, and then another bathroom. Okay, it's a vibe. Yo, y'all lit. It's a vibe. Can you tell which side is sink and size and which is mine? Oh, 100%. That is yours. That's size. For sure, size girl. You can just tell. This is yours. Definitely your personality, right? That is mine. That is mine. You know, little super bad girl. Heck yeah. Y'all are too cute. Super cute. Oh, well, I'm ready to get to this grubbing, dog. Oh, snap. It's about to go. Now, all right, all right. Okay, so Sia, what we got on the menu again? Oh, you was okay. Yeah, me and Nana would sit next to each oh, other. Oh, yeah, we sit next to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. So all right, we got, we got some rice, some jasmine rice, some broccoli, and some get into salmon. it. Oh, salmon. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm in this secret sauce. You might lose your girl in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is for y'all easy game, because honestly, me and Savvy already shared our point of views on my channel, where we were like, what is it like being straight women dating women for the first time, all okay. right? So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But right now, we're gonna get the perspective from our girlfriends dating straight women and how does how is that for y'all? You know? Oh, okay, okay. I think for me personally, it's not even about whether or not she's straight. Okay. It's about um, my preference and shit. Never know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's it's more so about me, like me feeling like, do I fulfill you enough? Mm, like, are, am I am I satisfying you enough? You know what I'm saying not? like, cause you yeah, am I enough overall? Mm -hmm. Like. Do, do you go outside and, and like, feel like, damn, like, I miss guys. Like, ooh, mm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn. 
<laughs> but a mouthful. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. I just want to. I just want to feel like I'm. I'm doing everything within my willpower to make sure she's happy. Yeah. Me, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Question. Is this your first time dealing with a straight person, or you've had your no. share? Of, okay, no. so your experience. She's experience. It's your, your experience. It's your, your first time. time. To be honest with you, a lot of straight women pursue 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 us women, mm-hmm. us lesbian women. Wow. Like, you feel like and they ain't straight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have this was a shock to me. Straight bag me. Yeah. No. Oh, bag you. So did I bag you, or did you bag me? You gave me them eyes. Mm-mm. Ooh! Uh-huh. What 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 things come up for you like, like what dating? Yeah, dating, dating a straight a woman that only dated men before you. Okay, so for me, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel like first and foremost, I only date straight women. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. What, you, what do y'all okay. get? Did that like give y'all like a like a feeling like? That? <laughs> Oh, right. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't prefer that. I don't prefer that at all. I and the would. reason why I don't let's talk about is it. because let's talk about it. Look, <laughs> so when, okay, so I used to love lesbian women. Once I was like, when I came out, it was like, oh, lesbian this, lesbian that. But then it was like, it was too easy for me. Oh, you know God, what I'm saying? Girl. I'm just saying, like, okay, that, look, I was, it like, was too easy. Uh, so it was like too easy. Chase. I like the chase and I like the challenge because Everybody knew that I was a lesbian and I was becoming popular. So a lot of the lesbian girls would cater to me and they'd just be like, all right. And they was with the shit. They was with it. I knew I could bag her, but it was like, this is too easy. I like the challenge. I like the chase. I want to feel like, all right, I got to, like, I got to do so. I got to work for it. I don't want an easy girl to just throw herself at me. Maybe I was looking in the wrong, maybe I was looking looking for the wrong, in the wrong places at the club and stuff. But it was like, (laughs) every girl I got with, it was like, it was just like, Either my homies had already been with her or it was just damn. too easy. So it was just like, yo, straight women, it felt better because it was like, damn, they're probably not even interested in me. If I like her, like, and she could come, you know, come to the other side, mm-hmm. that's, that's when you know somebody really like you for you and love oh, you for exactly you. Exactly. Like, when, when, when you turn a whole bitch life around, it's exactly. like, Exactly. Oh, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. A, that's a cool perspective. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, I knew that women only liked me for who I was. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, popular on social media or whatever. These lesbians, like, mm-hmm. oh, they know. It was like, oh, you're easy, you're easy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when it came to straight women, they just was like, oh, okay, yeah, I've never dated a girl. I would never do that. And then, you mm-hmm. know, boom. I met Natalie. Boom. Boom. So, and then, boom, I met Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I was just a game. No, I was no, a game no, to her. It was a challenge. No. Wow. You weren't, baby, at all. Mm-hmm. But definitely, I didn't know I, I wasn't in love with you immediately. But when I was, was falling in love with you, out of all the women I've ever dated, I thought you were gonna be like, there's no chance. Cause like, I knew you. You were so damn straight. Girl, it was like, friend. so she knew everything. Crazy. I was talking about every guy. Everything. I'm like, like there's no way she could ever like girl. It's not straight. Not straight. Not straight. Not talk about that that yeah. Me and Knox, me and Knox used to always talk about that shit. I used to be like, they gon' f**k, bro. Like we was rooting for it. Man, Knox like, was on it heavy every time. Knox would be like, "Yo, yo I just gave her a chance." Hey, yo, Knox is a team player. You hear yo, me? Right. Shout out no. to Knox. <laughs> so the challenge is dated Natalie for one. She is a straight woman, and of course, to me, I only date straight women. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I only date straight women. But for you, the challenge with me was just more so like, dang, is she going to stay in love with me? It's just a phase. But I think that's what every girl, because mm-hmm. she's straight. Oh, but, wow. but it's like, dang, is, she's gonna, is she gonna stay in love with me? Like, maybe it's just a phase, she's just, she's already loving her best friend, and she's just blinded, like, dang, I love my best friend so much, and she just confessed her love. Like, I have to say yes, I do love her, you know? Yeah. But when you tried it and like actually experienced the love, it was just like, damn, like, that was my biggest like worry and scare. Like it was just gonna be a phase. Do you guys miss anything about men? Oh shit. Oh god, these are getting look All right, can we be completely throat. honest? Wait, let's let y'all Can we be completely from. honest? Yeah. Wait, I won't, I'll wait. Are yeah. you sure you're ready for this? Yeah. Wait, well, no, I don't wanna go first. <laughs> no, I don't wanna go <laughs> first. No, Natalie, go first. Right. I'm, I'm ready. ready, my hands are ready. Go ahead, Natalie. There's a less emotions that happen. That's a fact. In a, in a straight relationship where I'm used to being the more emotional one. 
and it's very equal when it comes to us, when it comes to vulnerability, when it comes to emotional. I can't even, you, I'm used to being able to catch an attitude and like my man's unbothered by it and it's just like, like stop acting <laughs> here. Like, she be getting an attitude back. <laughs> is having to deal with her when she gets an attitude when I don't even have one. I've never had to deal with that before. So you miss So I miss, miss I miss that about like straight relationships I would say is like there being a balance when it comes to emotions. Because the females usually have more of the emotions and they get more of the attitude. So when you're dealing with two of them, yeah. nah I can really vouch for that. That's fact. Like I've never again no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to say I'm that. so excited to say it. But I still love my baby, okay? Y'all don't get this Why fucked up. So Again. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would say the only thing is I personally always had like that height. You feel me? The height yeah. difference. Oh, okay. It's just like, Damn. but I don't care about it, but it's just something that I, that I just like, it is Sit a difference. Down. But I feel like I'm coming for me you. and my baby short together and I'm just sticking with I'm her. I'm taller than you. <laughs> I'm so taller than her too. She be trying to go. You are not taller than me. I am taller than you. I don't even wear. I barely wore heels, but now I really don't because it's just like I just can't be taller than my baby. Okay. Just you miss. So you miss yeah. height. This is like height different. I used to like just. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. I, I remember it took. It took a while for me to get adjusted to that, but then <laughs> when I realized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't on me. Yeah. Nothing. Wait. I was, I was, wait. I was. I got a few of them. <laughs> It took me a long <laughs> ass time Wait. for her short ass. <laughs> no, easy. what I was gonna that say easy. is, but once I got it, I, the thing that helped me to get adjusted was realizing like, damn, like, she's still strong. Nah, yeah, she nice. still can pick me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Throw me over her shoulder, like. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you feel, you feel safe with me? Dad, my baby be strapping ready to shoot a nigga head off. <laughs> Like we've literally gotten arguments cause like even if I try to go somewhere, like I try to get a hook of myself in the club, she wouldn't let like I'm sorry, I would never be that famous person and be like, go get this one, go get it. Like if I want some, I'ma go get it. Like yeah. period. She be like, no, people's around doing the work. You gotta be a, you gotta be aware of your like a protector mold. Yeah. Like I've never had that not feeling. Cause you gotta think about it like this, especially where where she is in her, you know, career. Yeah, and stuff she be like seeing that. the violence. It's like you gotta, people just be out free for no reason, just because oh, of who you real. are. Yeah, so yeah. you gotta it's always you be, you gotta out. always be one step ahead. You know what I'm saying? And for you to be her girl, it's like, nah, none of that. Yeah, it took a while for us to get to that balance where it's yeah. like, all right, I gotta let somebody be able to yeah. you know, me look out for me. Cause I never had that. I've always been the person that look out for everybody around me. So just having somebody to be like yeah. on 10 for me, yeah. it's yeah. just, I love it, but it definitely took some getting used to. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be like, I be telling my baby, you can't leave the house without your knife. Yeah. What's your knife? I'd be like, she be trying to keep it on her person. I'm like, nah, keep that thing right there. Nope. Don't what just say yes to keep her, her knife right on nope. her knees. That should be short. Sure. I keep my pistol. Yeah. Okay, so wait, well, one last question. Uh -oh. Okay. What y'all feel about poly relationships? Oh. Why did you make that sound like you like? <laughs> we are 1%. Percent. I'm going to say, what y'all feel about poly relationships? Y'all win. It's a dub? It's a dub. I, would, I would, well, This one is enough. Mama. Okay. Okay. With uh, Sire? You could barely you handle this. I wish you wouldn't say yes. Sire, what you feeling? What is your answer? Let me tell you why. I was, <laughs> no, let me, let me tell you why though. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with just her. But uh -huh. I understand why people, some people want to seek, seek that type of uh, relationship. Okay. Because. I, I feel like it's very possible to be to be in love with multiple people at once. I feel that too. Because you gain you get certain things from certain people. Right. Like you might you might not be able to give me something that I desire that maybe she can. Right. But we're all cool with and we're all cool with that. That like we're all in that in understanding that. Yeah. Do you love somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> you really, she said, no, who, is she? who is she? Who is she? <laughs> Why? Some yeah. people are polyamorous. But I would y'all so y'all wouldn't be down? Would no. you be down? No. No. Okay. I like her. I like her just for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you with the poly? Nah, no. I, I, I would be down, but then again, like 
If she she Girl, she can't don't risk your life. You would like, wear your hair out. Heck no, like, she could be. She could only be a baddie. She got to be a femme though. You know what I'm saying? I was saying, you ever dated a stud? No, never. Never in my life. Never. I never. I've never dated. No, I never dated a stud. But she got to be a femme because I feel like if it was a stud. It'd be too much clashing. I'd probably try to compete. Then it's just like me just picturing another stud kissing my girl. Just like, nah. Two beautiful so women? Shot. I'm like, all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> That's it. Uh-uh. All right. Oh, okay, I'm not wow. down. I'm just kidding. I ain't down. Don't play with, don't play with your life like that because that she is. You down now, no? No. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. This is joking. Joke. to the point. No. 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 All that the shit only way you can be that. down is if it's Deuce does. And I know you. Look <laughs> 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 at that whole energy shift. Heck no. Exactly. How do you think I feel? Only time I be down if it's Deuce Yeah, but well, that's fun for you. How is that fun? That's not fun. It'd be more fun if it was Deuce does. That's not fun. All right, now. All right. All right. Now. <laughs> Alright now. It wouldn't work. Yo, it was a vibe. Yo, thank you guys for inviting us thank to you your for house. Coming. Yo, yo, you know how to cook cook. So yeah, like, she'll like, make you want to move in and just stay yeah, here. Right. What's your right. You should do a video of me teaching you how to cook something. Oh, yo, you should. Because yeah. I don't cook. Yeah. Sure. That would be cute. That would be cute. Would be I cute. like that. Okay. I get some apron shot tights and all that. Ooh, oh, thank you. Oh, yo. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments below if y'all want to see me and Saya chef it up for our girls. Let us know. Make sure you guys yeah. Give us a like and subscribe. Follow their page. You guys, Savvy. Tell them, tell them where to find you. Tell them where to find you. Savvy's YouTube, y'all. That's it. That's it. That's it. Saya, where can they find you? Instagram at um, Saya. My YouTube is Saya the Dreamer. Oh, let's get it. Period. And look, y'all already know. Nizi Gay, we out. Gay, gay, gay. Hey. hey. hey.